On the island of Cyprus, in the region of Larnaca, there is a sacred mountain, Stavrovuni, or the Mountain of the Cross. St. Helen founded the mountain while visiting the Holy Land. She was on a mission to find the cross that Christ had been crucified on, and she found it. Upon her return home, she stopped in Larnaca, and in the night the cross disappeared. The next day they found the cross on top of a mountain, and every time they tried to take the cross back, it would appear on the mountain again. Finally, they left a piece of it there and went on their way. Today, the oldest known monastery on Cyprus rests on that mountain. Stavrovuni, it would seem, had no monks during the Ottoman occupation of Cyprus. At the end of the 19th century, Cypriot elders from Mount Athos re-inhabited the monastery. It grew so much during that period that it came into a position to send monks to other ruined monasteries and help their growth. St. Philumenos, the Cypriot martyr, who served as a guardian to Jacob's well and was murdered there in 1979, had started his monastic life at Stavrovuni. Since then, new monks have entered and Stavrovuni has grown considerably. It has become the spiritual center of Cyprus. The monks live a very strict and ascetic lifestyle. This is due to the first modern abbot Dionysius I, who brought with him the ways of Mount Athos. Just like Mount Athos, women are not permitted to enter Stavrovuni. This is rare in the case of Cyprus, for it is the only monastery on the island where women are not allowed to enter. Many pilgrims visit Stavrovuni throughout the year. They gain the blessings of our Lord Jesus Christ, whose cross rests upon the mountain. Everyone should take the opportunity to visit this place so full of spiritual history. <laughs>